Hello everyone, it's Jackson. This is the last video that is ever going to be solely shot on my Vixia because I have a brand new camera. This is a Panasonic HC V800. It's a really nice camera. I'm gonna... I've already used it a little bit, but this is just my initial thoughts on the camera itself, so let's get into that. I'm gonna start off with what I don't like about it because there really isn't much, but recording in the low light, I actually think the Vixia performs a little bit better it's uh, it's very blurry. It's very you know. There's a lot of noise when recording with the Vixia, but you can still see a little bit of stuff. You can't see anything with this guy, which is a bit of a shame. But I'm always recording in an area where there's plenty of light, so that's not a big issue for me. That's my only real issue with it. Uh, now let's get into what I like about it. First off, uh, I would like to say this is the full HD model. There is a 4K model, but my computer. Uh, it's a 2013 MacBook Air. It doesn't handle editing 1080p video very well, so I don't want to imagine editing 4K on it. So, I opted for the uh, Full HD model, and I think it's pretty good. Uh, maybe in five years or something, when everything is being shot in 4K and 1080p is the new VGA, maybe then I'll regret getting the uh, 1080p model, but for now, I like it. If you flip open the camera, I don't have a battery in it, so it won't power on. Uh, you can see here that we have our a uh, computer port where you can plug it into a computer and transfer it that way. You have your uh, SD card slot. That's how I transfer stuff. I have a card reader, HDMI hookup. It's a mini HDMI. You have your Wi-Fi button. You have a dedicated HDR button. You can go to your playback settings there. You can power it on there if you choose to turn off the mode where you just flip open the screen to power it on. So looking at the back of the camera, we can see here's the recording button. That's a very convenient slot. Uh, when I'm recording, I have the zoom rocker right there, and I can have my thumb on the recorder. That's very nice, but that does get in the way, uh, and I'll show you why in a second. But, uh, up on top, there's your uh, microphone grill. That's, I've tested the microphone, and I will show you the microphone quality by itself in a second, and it sounds really nice. It actually sounds better than this camera. But, there's a slot here where I can attach something, whether it be a light or an external mic, I have a uh, external mic I attached there. And if you keep going back, you have your uh, your zoom rocker, you know, the TW, and then a camera button to so take a picture. Look over here at the side of the camera. We have your little strap, but you have a little slot. What's behind the slot? Your charging port, which I'll actually get a DS stylus to point these out. Right there, you have your charging port. That's the one on the bottom, and then a headphone jack right there so you can listen back to any recordings. I like that it's there and I like that I can just cover it up. And then at the front of the camera pop open this flap and you have your microphone input and unlike the Vixia, the Vixia does have this as well, microphones can tap into this camera's battery and work and I really like that. That's that's very nice. It's very very nice. And then of course on the bottom you have where you can screw it into a tripod. So, uh, oh, one more thing before I put this camera over there and show you its recording quality. The battery, it's smaller than the Vixia, but the battery lasts longer. Uh, that was a big complaint I had with the Vixia. If you've seen my, uh, if you've seen the video where I list the problems I had with it, I'll link that up there. So the battery on this guy goes in right here. You just put it in there and then flip open and it turns the camera on. So that's nice. Another thing I like, watch this, I close it, automatically the uh, lens flap opens. That doesn't happen with this one, I have to manually, you know, open and close it. Anyway, I will now switch over to recording with the Panasonic HC V800, give you a look at the quality, and then I'll, this first one will be without any external mics hooked up, and then I'll hook up my uh, external microphone. So let's switch over to the Panasonic. So this is now being recorded on the Panasonic. It's in the exact same spot. Uh, you can see already the colors are so much better. The, uh, the Vixia, it looked very uh, very white. It looked very bright, very white. This looks way more natural. I can already tell uh, looking at the counter here. This is a lot more accurate uh, to how it actually looks. My hands, they're still pale, but you know, they look a lot nicer. And if I'm to show you my face with this guy, you can see that everything looks a lot more natural than the Vixia. Uh, 
a little bit dark in places, and of course I'm standing right under a light, so this might not be the most optimal lighting spot. I'm actually going to close the flip screen here. This might not be the most optimal place for lighting, but it looks way better than the Vixia. In fact, if I were to take the Vixia out right now, this is what the Vixia would look like. And as you can see, I'm looking at the flip screen here so I can see myself very white. There's smudges on the uh, on the screen that aren't actually showing up. They're not actually, uh, you know, on the lens, but you can see them on the flip screen and they show up on computers, which is annoying. So I might have moved the tripod around a little bit when I put the mic on, but you can get an idea of what it sounds like with the microphone on now. I think it sounds pretty good. I actually think it sounds much better than the uh, normal mic on this, and of course it's leagues better than the, uh, the Vixia. Before I get to the uh, outro, I can finally, you know, show you up close what this guy looks like. There's the microphone. You flip it over here. There's your mic input. There's your headphones and your power cord adapter. And on top there, your zoom, photo, cord. Then you pop it open and now you can see it. Playback power, SD card, HDR, Wi-Fi, mini HDMI, and then your computer hookup. So, now you can get an up close look at that. So, yeah, I hope you did enjoy this little I, I don't want to say unboxing because I didn't unbox it, but it's not a proper review. So a first impressions, kind of, of my new camera. I really do hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video. And it will be shot on this guy. See you guys then, and peace out. Just to clarify, I will be keeping the Vixia just to use as maybe a B-main camera or like a camera where I want to get a shot maybe on, you know, of a car going. And I don't want to risk breaking the Panasonic. And it's always just good to have a backup. So I will be keeping the Vixia. Don't worry about that.